Hi everyone, it's Suzanne. I'm back again with another video and this video is just my haul for July 2023 uh, polish pickup and PPU's theme for that month was Rewind where the makers get to bring back um, a polish of their choice. From what I see though, most of them were, most of them that I saw anyway, were voted on by um, customers in their different Facebook groups. I'm sure not all of the brands did that, but several of the brands that I follow did that. So I wound up picking up five polishes from that month and then um, a couple extra little like goodie things. So let's just look at the goodie things first because they're not as exciting. And the first thing I got is from Bluebird. It's their um, cuticle balm and it is Bird of Paradise. And this is supposed to be flavored coconut banana berries and vanilla i did already smell this it smells amazing amazing it really does and um i love this balm um i've used it before and i really like it i know ppu sells another type of cuticle balm from unicorn magic something with unicorn in it i do want to try that but um bluebird had a sale and i haven't um, received those items yet and I bought a few of these from Bluebird so when I get low on these um, I'm going to try that other brand but I do love that cuticle balm from Bluebird and then the other non-polished well it's a polish but it's a top coat non-polished related item I received or purchased was um, this from DRK Nails their magnetic magic effect it says top coat magic effect for magnetic nail polish so it's just basically a magnetic top coat you know and I've heard people rave about this and I've heard people say you don't need it but I really want my magnetics to look like they look in the swatch photos I know that's probably a lofty go but I do want them to look better and I thought well I'll get the top coat even if it doesn't work that great I'm sure it's a wonderful you know, even if it doesn't work that great for my magnetics, I'm sure it's a wonderful top coat and I can just use it, you know, for my magnetics to help with them and just use it as a top coat. But I'm curious to try this out the next time I do a magnetic um, nail polish. So here's the fun part, the polishes. So the polishes I picked up, the first one I picked up is from Psych Minerals and this is Memories, or is that Mem? Yeah, memories. Memories of an angel. And this is described as a light bubblegum base polish with an intense blue shimmer. It is inspired by the pink and blue pregnancy loss awareness ribbon. Um, I've never tried this brand unless I have received them in a mystery and off the top of my head. I can't remember. And I thought this was just such a really pretty pink and on camera, that blue shimmer is kind of coming off purple, but in person, it's kind of like a blurply color. It definitely looks blue, but it's kind of got like a purple tint to it. But I just remember this being a super, you know, pretty delicate pink, and I was curious to see it in person. Okay, the first coat is a little sheer but this polish is kind of more like a delicate you know sheerish polish it's supposed to be that way um the formula appears very nice i don't know how much of that blue shimmer is coming off you can definitely see it in person i just don't know how much the camera is picking up um the formula is a little runny in my opinion compared to what I personally like but it's nice I will have to wear it on my nails I like to wear them on my nails before I really give a full judge because you know putting them on this swatch stick you really can't judge them the best in my opinion I like to put them on my nails and see what they look like but it's just um you know easier for the video's sake just to put them on a swatch wheel so that everyone can see them it's very pretty. I'm trying to pull it off and look at it. It's very pretty. You definitely would need three coats, I think, and a blurring base coat if you want to build this up to where it's not, you know, so sheer. Um, in person, you definitely can see that blue shimmer. I'm not sure how much it's coming off on camera, but in person, I am definitely seeing it. 
but it is a very pretty polish and this is psych minerals memories of an angel and then next up i got a polish from bluebird and this is rock of sages and this is described as an emerald green shattered hollow with a glowy emerald green to purple multi-chrome shimmer and is inspired by one of the maker's favorite places in her home state mesa verde um i wanted this because if you do not know bluebird makes amazing shattered hollows i think it's like she's notoriously known for that and they are amazing and i don't have one in this shade and um I guess I just, I love her Shattered Hollows. Ooh, it's really pretty. I don't have one in this shade, so I was like, I'm going to pick that one up. I don't even remember when this came out the first time. Um, I don't know if I just wasn't into, you know, the indie polish world at the time, or if I wasn't into Bluebird, or if I didn't know how amazing her Shattered Hollows are. They are just oh my gosh they are amazing they really are oh my gosh this is so pretty this is just very very pretty um i could see this if you're a seasonal wearer this would be an amazing polish in fall or winter Ooh, it's very pretty and like i said i don't have anything in that coloring um in the shadowed shattered hollow formula by bluebird so i definitely wanted this one and this one is bluebird rock of sages and then next up i got from dreamland shake your shamrock and this is a newer polish that everyone has raved about this is described as a semi-bleached neon green crelly base filled with blue shimmer and is inspired by the shamrock shake from mcdonald's um it does have an intense blue shimmer i remembered when this came out it was just here recently it was like in the food month which i think was like april or may so it was here recently and i wind up getting atomic sour rings which came back in rewind too which is kind of funny um and at the time i just thought you could not buy two bright greens you know so i skipped this one but then when it came back in rewind especially with the way everyone raved about it i thought that is one that I am, you know, I'm definitely picking up because, like I said, everyone has just raved and raved about this polish. Ooh, okay. It is very bright and it does have an intense blue shimmer. You can definitely see this one. No way you're missing that, baby. Look at that. I can see why everyone raves about it. I really can. Um. I think I personally probably like the sour. I haven't worn either one of them, so I shouldn't say this, but I think I personally like the sour rings better. Um, just the coloring of it, but this is kind of neat. And I don't think I have anything in this um, bleached formula, but look at that blue shimmer. That's amazing. That is definitely, ooh. That's intense. That is an intense blue shimmer. I can see why people have raved about this, and I'm super excited to wear that. It is bright, too. Like, in person, it is bright. I'm super excited to wear this one on my nails, and I'm glad I wound up picking it up the second time around. And this was Dreamland Shake Your Shamrock. And then next up, I picked up by Poetry Cowgirl. Um, heat wave and this is described as a mango yellow orange crelly packed with red orange gold shifting shimmer and green blue purple iridescent flakes and it is inspired by weather maps this one I also do not remember this coming out at first when it first came out um, but it's easy to forget them because you know so many boxes and they roll around so fast every month it's easy to forget them but i don't remember this one and um in rewind it was between this and fair maiden tahitian queen i think is what it's called um i really wanted that one too but 
I know a lot of people said that theirs had faded, their original one. And I do know that the maker said she changed it to where it's not supposed to fade as much. But she did have a warning that it would fade. And I do know that ne neons are notorious for fading. And there's not really anything, you know, the makers, or there's not much the makers can do to change that. But I guess just reading that description where the maker's already pre-warning you about it changing um, which I think is good that she did that so people that don't know know it but just the fact that she was already putting that out there I thought maybe I should go with this one because I really liked them both so I really wish I would have gotten them both because I see you know everyone's hauls and I'm like oh I want that one but you know, you can't buy everything. So I just decided to go with this one. This is really pretty though. Because I thought, I don't really think I have anything in this shading that is like, I guess it's mango colored. Mango, yellow, orange. I was going to say it's kind of like a yellow, but it's kind of like an orange. Um, and I don't really own a whole lot from Poetry Cowgirl. The only ones I own are ones that I have gotten in mysteries if I even kept any of those I can't remember off the top of my head but look at that I really like it like I said I don't have anything in that coloring so I'm super excited to wear this one and see what that looks like but it's super to me it's super unique because I don't think I have anything of that coloring but this one was poetry cowgirl heat wave and then the last one I picked up is the Notorious <laughs> Sweet and Sour Lacquer. I like it when the red water comes out. And this is a dark olive base with pink copper shimmer that shifts gold or green at extreme angles. And it is inspired by Salad Fingers. I did pass this up the first time. I think that Salad Fingers show, it's kind of like a little dark. <laughs> but it's funny um you know me and my, my children are older so I didn't let little kids watch it but me and my children watched it and it's it's pretty funny and um I usually don't buy polishes based on inspiration um but the way people raved about this I thought I'm not gonna let this go a second time because everyone was saying you know, this was a polish you didn't want to pass up. So I was like, I'm not going to let this pass up me up a second time. Because I do remember when this came out and I skipped it. Um, and I just thought, I'm not going to let it pass me up again. So the first coat comes off kind of olive, olive colored, which I love a good olive. It's very pretty. Um, very pretty. Ooh, okay, I'm getting some of that red shimmer in the second coat and some of the gold shimmer. I can see why people rave about this too. It's very, um, you know, it's just different. You don't see a lot of olive red to gold shimmers like this. And you definitely can see it in person. It's definitely coming off. Ooh, I can see why people raved about. Um, these are the two that I remember people raving about a lot. The sweet and sour um i like it when the red water comes out and the dreamland shamron shake sh shamron shamrock shake i can see why people raved about both of them they're both super pretty i can see why people love those two polishes so this one was sweet and sour lacquer i like it when the red water comes out so those are all the polishes that i wound up purchasing in polish pickup rewind if you wind up purchasing anything in rewind i would love to know which polishes you wind up purchasing because i'm always curious to know what everyone purchase for rewind and every month really and if you like these type of videos please consider subscribing to my channel because i do do um nail content videos all the time and i also do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye everyone.